Okay, it is 9.12 p.m. July 13th, 2014, calling uh, Bill Pinsky, District 2 Commissioner of Sibley County. Yes, is this uh, Commissioner Pinsky? Yes, it is. Yes, this is Terry Nemers. How are you doing tonight? I'm fine. Well, that's good. Say, I just sent you an email. Actually, I sent it to your chair. I was trying trying to get a hold of her, Joy uh, Coors, but uh, I couldn't get a hold of her. She doesn't have an answer machine or anything. So, But anyhow, I sent uh, you, her, and every other county commissioner a complaint uh, against... Uh, County Attorney Shower for illegally withholding public information from me. Uh, the email has uh, each one of my data requests that I submitted, and uh, apparently, your county attorney uh, doesn't want me to have information in regard to uh, Michael Hartman. Uh, his court case is uh, 72CR136 and 72CR1265. Um, I'm aware that. Uh, the most recent case was thrown out of court for uh, not one, not two, but three illegal searches and seizures uh, from Michael Hartman's uh, vehicle by the State Patrol and the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. So I understand that there would be a real embarrassment for him to, to give me that information. Plus, he doesn't want me to know how much it costs per prosecution for those, even though Glenwood newspaper was just publishing how the uh, the cost for their recent uh, murder trial was going to be coming into the county commissioners that had start paying for expert witnesses. So, so well, I'll, I'll, read, I'll read the email, but um, <clears throat> I, I don't. But, so, so where, how are you involved in this situation? Or? Well, I'm the guy who's asking for public information. It's a criminal act to illegally withhold public information. That's how I'm involved in it. Well, I, I don't I'm know exactly how to answer that, but if uh, you know, I, uh, I I guess I could talk to our county administrator maybe and see have you talked to him at all or not. Well, actually, I've been talking just to County Attorney Shower. I mean, if I send him a data request, it's either his job to process it, process it him, himself, or hand it off to the proper authority to process it. Now he's making these wild and outrageous claims that I'm supposed to do his job for him. It's it's not my job to do his job. So obviously you need to have this investigated. I, mean, I don't appreciate him wasting my time, insulting my intelligence, and wasting public resources, you know, on this little data dodge. I mean this guy gets paid eighty three thousand three hundred and one dollar three hundred eighty three thousand thirty one 83031 dollars a year. You know, I'm not going to have him wasting my time for $83,000 a year. You know, plus, he, plus he's engaging in malicious prosecutions, which he knows that are malicious prosecutions. I mean, how can he not know that the State Patrol uh, illegally searched Michael Hartman's vehicle three different times? I mean, obviously he went to law school. He has a license. So, I mean, either he's incompetent or he's... Uh, maliciously prosecuting. I mean, there, there can be no other explanation. You know? Sure. It's 320-283-5713. And what's, that? what's your name again? My name is Terry. T is in Tom. E-R-R-Y. Nemers. N is in Nancy. E, M is in Mary, M is in Mary, E, R, S. Well, I can, I can make some phone calls, but uh, I, I, I have to tell you, though, that the shower is an, he's an elected official. Which means nothing to me. I mean, yeah, elected officials get charged with criminal... What I'm criminal... trying to say, though, is that the, the county commissioners, though, cannot totally Well, the 
other thing is it's a criminal act to illegally withhold information. Obviously, anyone can file criminal charges against someone who's filed, who's illegally engaged uh, engaged in criminal activity. I mean, Mr. Mr. Schauer is a county attorney and a law enforcement officer. Obviously, he's trained in the law. He should know what the law is, but obviously he doesn't want to follow the law. launch an investigation, you can have an outside agency investigate him, you can do a no confidence vote in him, you can freeze his salary, you can, you affect the, the you know, his uh, sal or his uh, budget, you know, there's a, a variety of... I can I can I'll call him. Well, I I have plenty of information on my data sheets or my data requests there that you know give you an idea of what you can do. I said it's a criminal act to illegally withhold public information, and you know. Uh, all I'm telling you is, you know, I, I don't appreciate what he's doing, and I, and I want my data. That's what it comes down to. So if you make some phone calls, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. So if I get a hold of the county administrator, can he, can he call you back then? Or? That's fine. I have no problem with that at all. Okay, well anyhow, all my data requests are on the on your email, so if you need to forward okay. it to the, the coordinator, that's fine too. So Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, appreciate your time. Bye.